What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Sunday afternoon, and just wanted to give my thoughts on the uh, New York Pro this weekend. Blessing a Wadaboo. He makes it two in a row. And by the way, yes, I can pronounce his last name. I just like to call him Mr. Blessing. Uh, I can pronounce a Wadaboo. So anyway, uh, Abadisi uh, went and won the show uh like i said two in a row and that puts a little bit of extra cash uh into his bank account now i didn't actually watch the live stream or anything like that and one thing about these live streams is they they look kind of funky it's kind of a hit or miss there the only attempt at live stream i try to do is the mr olympia one but when it comes to these regional shows, I don't know. It's 2022, and we we seem to have not nailed down uh, the quality of live streams, despite every other athletic sports being able to do it properly. I don't know. But in any event, uh, you know, usually I always rely on the pictures directly from the shows. So I checked out the pictures. And one thing as of no, Justin Rodriguez, he looked he looked pretty bad, you know. It, it's not like he, he he was enough to get into a top placing, but you have to remember that fifth place, I think he finished fifth place in the New York Pro is almost last place at the Mr. Olympia. Because remember, only people that are qualified will do the Mr. Olympia. So having a fifth place or low showing and not winning the show. Yeah, that's kind of a big letdown. Uh, everyone else looked pretty good. Uh, Max Charles, yeah, I wanted to mention that here. I don't know what's going on with his physique, but he, he he's hard as nails in the front, but he, he's off as a baby's behind from the back there. You know, and I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe he needs to uh, get another trainer or so forth. I mean, I don't know. Something funky is going on with his body. I mean, that. Uh, I don't even know how that is possible anyway, because usually it's soft in the front, hard in the back, but it's just the opposite for Max here. That's definitely going to hurt him uh, going into the Mr. Olympia, you know. Uh, that's if he's already qualified or not. I'm not for sure. Like I said, I uh, don't really keep up with people's qualifications, but I'm going to go ahead and assume Max Charles will be at the Mr. Olympia hell or high water. So what does Blessing uh, need to do at this point in time? Well, uh, the Toronto Pro Show comes up in on June the 4th there. So you should definitely do that show. That's, that's only a couple weeks away. That's not too far. It's not too bad. And I mean, his first win itself there, he was a lot sharper than the New York Pro show where he was probably a little bit fuller and everything like that. But I think he can sharpen it back up enough to take that Toronto Pro show. Afterwards, shut down shop there, you know, and get ready for the Mr. Olympia. Here's the thing. All these other pro events there, they're going to be overseas there, you know. So the amount of prize money minus the travel is not going to be worth it for starters. And number two, you need a significant amount of time to, you know, get back up to snuff in order to be uh, competitive at the Mr. Olympia. So even though there's a couple of other shows uh, in the U.S. there at this point in time, you know, they're going to be late in the game to where it's going to actually affect this placing at the Mr. Olympia. Now, I understand also that Nick, uh, that he went up there and challenged Nick Walker on stage. And uh, again, I don't get this whole Nick Walker thing. So what if he's big? OK, I don't think that he I, I don't think he, he's not going to win the Mr. Olympia. I think he's going to place out of the top five. I've seen plenty of big people before. Marcus Rule, you know, and stuff like that. These are huge guys here. And that, that's the way I see Nick Walker is I see him as just another Marcus Rule. I don't think that he can get in shape for the Mr. Olympia in order to take the title. It's not his time yet. It, it just simply isn't. Uh, maybe in a couple of years he can win the Mr. Olympia, but now is not time. It doesn't matter how big he gets here. I don't think that he can trim down and get shredded enough 
and maintain that size in order to actually win the Mr. Olympia. That's just me. I don't know why he's challenging it there. And there's no clue as far as whether Big Rami is going to be competing or not there. It's not official that he's retired there, people. Okay? But it, you know, as far as Nick Walker, one thing is for sure, uh, he certainly has the... He certainly has the people behind him there. People really want him to win. So we'll just see. So blessing, uh, Awadaboo. Uh, like uh, my recommendation, do the Toronto Pro. Then shut down shop. And get yourself ready for the Mr. Olympia. You already got your qualifications. You got nothing to prove whatsoever. And that's all I got to say today, people. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Click the link below.